Who supposed to get peanut butter and jelly today? Do I look like I eat pineapples? <laughs> Do I look sweet? No, I ain't sweet. Ronald Glenn Davis, a.k.a. Big Baby Davis, born January 1st, 1986. For 40 months, former NBA champion Glenn Big Baby Davis will either be serving time in a federal prison or under heavy supervision should he receive an early release into house arrest, followed by another three years of supervised release for an NBA health plan fraud case that convicted him and others of filing false medical claims for procedures that never happened receiving the payouts for it anyway. Meaning, entering his 40s, Davis will likely be behind bars for fraud, involving at least 18 former NBA players, including past stunted growth features Sebastian Telfair, Terrence Williams, Keon Dooling, and now Glenn Davis. Terrence Williams, who was considered the ringleader in this case, was actually sentenced to 10 years in prison for his role in 2023. Big Baby, the second most time of the rest of the players, and that could be for videos and behavior like this. It's your boy Big Baby, man. Don't believe I'll ask on the internet. I will have my day in court. Popeye chicken. That's the only way you can stop me from eating hamburgers is put me in jail. I'm gonna have to choke the chicken in the, in the bathroom. That's crazy. Still not realizing the gravity of this situation and the seriousness of his actions, which we can say now that he's been convicted and sentenced after a fair trial. From here, it'll always be on his record and continues to pass generationally down his family line, his mother spending time in prison as well. Yes, he made light of the situation, saying, well, at least there's no more hamburgers for me, and now he can finally get in shape. Maybe it hasn't hit him yet, or maybe for him, it's better to mask the hurt and embarrassment he's cost himself and his family, not to mention having to live with the fact you went from being completely catered to in high school as the top 13 player in the country, Louisiana Mr. Basketball, Parade, and McDonald's All-American, to player of the year in your conference for a big time college program, to leaving early for the NBA, winning a championship as just a rookie, for one of the top winningest and most popular sports teams of all time. Not to mention the public image you've built for almost 40 years is now dismantled with no insurance plan that says you'll ever be viewed the same again. I think Glenn Davis and Hoopers like him participate in the percentage of active or retired players who financially fall into a trap concerning themselves with an image of a lifestyle where everything is in abundance with no possibility of ever running out. Glenn Davis had the head start to becoming an outstanding player on the court and celebrated role model off of it that showed through his years in college and making the NBA that dreams do come true for less fortunate kids with a goal and a work ethic. Unfortunately, the story doesn't stop with you making it there. You have to protect what you've worked for and making sure you aren't becoming a negative statistic future hoopers will now have to know what not to do. For these reasons, that's exactly the case for Glenn Davis and has caused his growth to be stunted. What happened? Let's talk about it. Salute to Jermaine Washington on IG for this request. It's your boy JC Stunted Growth. Let's get him. Take a minute to like, subscribe, and comment on who I should do next. Glenn Davis is a former power forward center from Baton Rouge, Louisiana that got the name Big Baby because of his advanced size at a young age. Once being told he couldn't play peewee football because he was too big compared to the other kids. It's one of the reasons he almost had to change sports and pick up a basketball. Moving up to play with the older kids, they would often call him Big Baby being one of the biggest but the youngest as well. Not to mention he always wore his emotion on his sleeve playing into the name. His mom would be arrested when he was just 10 years old for a street crime, placing he and his siblings in foster care for small stints. By his senior year in high school, Glenn Davis was an accomplished multi-sport athlete, but a standout in basketball, winning the Player of the Year and Mr. Basketball for Louisiana, making the McDonald's All-American team in 2004 as a five-star top 15 prospect. He chose to stay close to home at LSU, immediately coming in as an important contributor. Stun number one, Law Size Advantage. Another name Glenn Davis acquired on his road to the NBA was Baby Shaq. 
Every big man sent Shaquille O'Neal with a similar body type they called Baby Shaq in those days, but Glenn actually looked to be the closest because of his size and the personality to go along with it. But in my opinion, what stunted his growth a great deal was getting to the NBA and realizing the guys at his position on that level were just as or a lot bigger, taller, and more athletic than he was, and that held him back from having the same success in the NBA as he did in college. Davis averaging 8 points per game for his career shows that at that point, he lost the size advantage he had on competition since a kid, and now he was being dominated on the glass, in the post, and defensively there was only so much he could do. At LSU, Glenn Davis was a near double-double machine, averaging 18.6 and 9.7 rebounds, along with a block a game as a sophomore, the year he won the Conference Player of the Year in the SEC. But again, the NBA is not college. Davis didn't have long arms, he wasn't a jump out the gym lob guy, his motor wasn't of the elite, and at 6'8", 6'9", playing the power forward center, he wasn't tall enough at the NBA level to continue dominating like he did in college. He was drafted with the 35th pick by the Seattle Supersonics but soon traded to the Celtics before he could play a game. Without the ability to barrel down the lane using his size, Davis had to spot up for mid-range shots now and had to think the game more now that he could no longer count on size as an advantage. Being a predominantly below the basket big in the league is a hard job. Davis managed, but it was clear he wouldn't be dominant for the first time in his life. Stunt number two, Doc Rivers killed his career. In Glenn Davis's own words, he feels his second time around with coach Doc Rivers hurt his career more than anything at that point, where he wouldn't receive another opportunity solely off the actions of coach Rivers in 2014. In a May game versus the Houston Rockets, Davis is playing but unsatisfactory minutes according to his standards and is also being put in and taken out of the game for minor mistakes as he's feeling himself out with his new team. A Clipper team he signed with after his time in Orlando where he had some of his best career moments but ended through a buyout when Orlando felt they wanted to develop their younger guys and couldn't do that with Davis playing well enough to play in front of them but not well enough that he was untouchable. The Nets and other teams were interested, but because of being familiar with Doc Rivers and a chance to play in the playoffs again, he signed with the Clippers February 2014. He now calls the move one of the worst mistakes of his career, strictly for how Doc Rivers embarrassed him during the Houston game. Davis, after being taken out again rather hastily, is walking to the bench past his coach and has words with Rivers that immediately makes Doc call for security to escort Davis off the bench to the locker room. He was done for the game. Davis says it gave him a bad reputation as a veteran looking to build his name with the Clippers and potential future teams. After the incident, Davis believes teams began to look at him different and is why he lasted just 97 games in LA and wasn't re-signed by any other team out the league at just 28 years old. He's held that grudge against Doc Rivers ever since, although Rivers downplays it as not that important of a situation when it happened, but for Davis, it directly stunted his growth. They just mad because a black man got money, man. Trying to keep a black man down, man. Pop our chicken. Stun number three, Mile High Popeye's Chicken. Big Baby Davis's time in the NBA ended in 2015, but the former champion was still looking to get back into the league. He was also planning for a future after basketball, starting a cannabis company, and also a rap label. Arguably the two biggest investments they tell you to stay away from as an athlete coming into lots of money. But Davis believed in it and was traveling to Maryland to sign an artist. Hanging with the rappers, Davis felt the need to showcase the lifestyle he sees portrayed by the rappers, carrying roughly 40,000 in cash on him and another 60,000 in a briefcase he just won from a dice game. Also in his possession was about 4 ounces of his legally grown cannabis that he had brought with him, as he says, as a part of his business. The hotel suspected him of doing illegal drugs in the room and notifies police who show up and eventually arrest Davis, charging him with possession with intent to distribute. 
He faced five years in jail but agreed to pay $15,000 on a suspended sentence and was released. Davis himself said that event led to no team feeling he was a good role model for their younger guys. He then posted a video of himself on a private jet eating Popeye's chicken with a briefcase full of money, taunting the situation, further showing his immaturity and poor judgment. As he says, it didn't just hurt his image, it closed the door on his return to the NBA and his career. He also says it's one of the stupidest things he's ever done, even though his hood cred went to a whole nother level. Of course, later on he'd be arrested again for fraud of the NBA health insurance program, submitting $132,000 in false claims for medical services. He was sentenced to 40 months in prison, another situation he still thinks is not that serious. All in all, Glenn Davis is one of those ignorance is bliss cases where in the moment poor decisions feel gratifying enough to cause you to continue the ignorance, largely to be accepted and seen as something you're not. He was a good college player with some serious potential and even won an NBA championship in the league. With a little more maturity and understanding, not to mention the right guidance early in life, he could have been special with his one-of-a-kind personality. He had loads of potential, but for these reasons, his growth was stunted. Salute, much respect, it's your boy JC Stunning Growth, I'm out.